Coach, uh, get a goal in the first half, a goal in the second half, a 2-0 shutout win at home against Northern Illinois. Thoughts on the the contest of, you know, start wire to wire of winning a contest? Well, it was, uh, you know, it's Northern Illinois. It's a MAC game. It's just, you know, going in, it's going to be a hard-fought competitive game. And, uh, you know, I got I to gotta give credit to Northern. Uh, I, th I feel like they're much improved and uh, certainly deserving of the record they have in the conference. No question about that. Uh, really, really pleased with how our kids came out. Uh, thought that they uh, played good soccer uh, for the most part, especially in the first half. Figured out, you know, where they could get in at Northern and uh, and got a well-deserved goal. Um, so uh, the, the halftime, it was just, you know, let's keep our foot on the gas and keep going forward. I think we uh, learned a lesson from the way we came out against Eastern last week, uh, defending a one-goal lead. and. Uh, we didn't want a repeat of that. Uh, and uh, kids kept going, kept playing. We got great minutes off of a lot of players off the bench, uh, and uh, we're able to close it out. Takes me to my next question. Bench seemed to be the story of the game again, getting you both of your goals with Shea in the first half and general in the second. Um, how comforting is that to have those options that you can go to if things maybe aren't working out as well or just providing a boost? Well, I can't. I'll tell you what. I, Shea's goal was just great, uh, really a, a well-taken goal. But that second goal that Jen Rowe finished was just class all the way down the field. It really was. Great combination down the flank, a wonderful ball in. And uh, Jen Rowe with a left foot from the top of the box. Uh, and you've got to give her a lot of credit because I know she's been going through some tough times recently. Uh, and, uh, you know, she's hung in there with it and showed me a lot of character and a lot of mental toughness by going out there and taking advantage of the chance she got. Sunday, you hold a halftime lead against Eastern Michigan, end up winning, but they come back to get a couple of goals. This time, halftime lead, shut the door. Yep. It's a little, kind of an, an adjustment, of, and what did you see out of your team as far as managing with the lead? Well, I think they just came out a lot better. Um, you know, we didn't start the second half very well against Eastern, uh, and, uh, you know, you can't. You know, you know, we don't score a lot of goals, <laughs> and so I think you know, uh, we felt like one goal was uh, was being in a really good spot. But uh, you know, you've got to keep going forward, no matter what. Uh, you know, halftime is way too early to uh, to sit on a one goal lead. So, lesson learned. Really pleased with uh, how they came out the second half today. So uh, hopefully, we won't see a repeat of that. Get a couple of extra days to prepare for Western Michigan on Sunday. I guess what's the game plan going forward? Well, as always, after a tough game, you know, they've got, we're going to get them in the pool, get something, uh, some food in them right away. Uh, we'll have a light practice tomorrow, and then we'll head up on Saturday. All right, Vic, uh, shout out after 90 minutes of soccer. Did the team remember what that was like, only playing two halves? No, I think uh, <laughs> um, they were pretty sh I was excited to not play overtime. Um, I'm getting kind of sick of it, but... I think that uh, the team was really excited that we got the goals early and uh, we were able to really compose ourselves and keep the lead and not go into overtime. So that's, we're very thankful for that. Protecting the lead for a long time, kind of a new thing for the, the team besides, you know, scoring late. Mm -hmm. uh, team seemed to manage that pretty well. I guess, what did you see in front of you that kind of made things you know, a little easier on you today? Yeah, we were actually, I was, I was really proud of the team because we did stay super composed, even though with that lead, like you said, that was new for us. And um, the biggest thing we were talking about is because Easter, we went into that game, into the second half with the lead and we, we didn't stay very composed. And uh, so what we talked about is um, communication and keeping our heads really checked in. Um, everything when the ball went out everything so making sure we were talking to each other that was the biggest thing for us so you've got a little bit more soccer left left in you but uh, a teammate from your freshman year Allison Nornberg this is your 23rd career shutout you tied her school record I guess you know having spent a year with her and learning under her how does it feel to kind of get your name a little bit in the record books obviously you've got some more uh, bigger goals ahead of you as well yeah I was pretty excited I I didn't even really know I'm that I tied it until they said it, but um, I was pretty excited. That's always one of my goals going into a game is to keep a clean sheet and make it easy for uh, the rest of the team and um, so they're not so under pressure going to goal. So I was pretty excited. <laughs> right, Jen, you gave some quality minutes off the bench. The team gets a big 2-0 win. You get your first career goal at Miami. I see your thoughts on the game today. Okay, so um, I just tried to stay calm today. That was my big word of the day was calm. I took a few touches, played the ball wide when I could, and Bobby told me to uh, just play the wingers in and let them do their job. So um, they would get the ball, cross it in. We had a few chances off that. Um, I thought we played quite well. I think we stayed strong, especially getting a 2-0 win. Um, that's the 
one of the first games that we've done that or done that in a while. So it was nice to not go into overtime today. So you get the insurance goal. I think it's the first time teams held a 2-0 lead. I stick me through that. You just seem to be able to stay up with the play and follow up uh, on a truck. Yeah, it, it went wide, and um, I think I'm not even sure who played it, and I think it was Bianca. Um, and I just I saw Maggie make a run deep, and so I held back a bit, and I saw the ball pop out, and I, all I thought in my head was stay calm, don't hit it over the net, and I just placed it left foot into the top corner. So. Team... Uh, Back-to-back -back games, scoring a goal in the first half, this time you know, holding off a uh, potential rally and getting the win. As, talk about, I guess, the, team, the composure the team really showed of really playing with the lead and being able to extend that uh, when it, things got a little bit chippy. Against yeah, them. for sure. I think against Eastern, um, they they got a lucky break. They had a really good ball in. They got to score their two goals, I guess, to fight back. But today, we, we stayed calm. We stayed composed. Um, I think in the second half, we kept trying to play the long balls just to get the ball out of the back. We wanted that win. It's clear by um, how everyone reacted. And honestly, like we're just fighting for the last three weeks. We know there's only three weeks till the championship tournament. So all of us are just fighting for the win and uh, trying to stay, stay in it as much as we can. Perfect. Thank you. All right, thank you.